What's up guys, this is Blaine. Um, this is my progress on my 72F100 project. Got the firewall blasted down, primered. Uh, waiting to do it some uh, flat black. Uh, got my motor all done. I'm waiting to bolt the tranny up to it. And then I'm gonna drop it in up here. Let's see, let's get down here and connect it. Still gotta do a little bit of sanding and um, get at least the front hat of half of this frame painted up black. Um, got to build uh, some motor mounts for the 460 that's going to be going in here. So, still got a little bit of work left. Just want to at least get the motor up in it, get it running so the motor won't be sitting. Get the fluids in there, all lubricating the motor and whatnot. Then going around, I took off the old um, mirrors that connected from down here. They came up here. I actually got the mirror right here. <sighs> yeah, these are too big and bulky for me. I don't really like it. Put stress on the door later on and it's life and stuff. And, I don't know. It's not me. I like more smaller mirror style. I'm thinking even maybe going with a black ranger mirror. Might look a little bit better. So that's why I get the molding back on the side. I'm going to do that uh, flat black. Other than that, today I'm just welding up the holes up in here. Got to take this off and then grind those down. Weld them up. Grind these down. Weld them up. But yeah. Got a little bit done within, I don't know, I want to say a month or so or whatever. It's got a little homemade custom lift on it. I say probably like five, six inches. It's fun. Nothing special, nothing fancy. I may get up in here, um, pull those blocks out. I might make um, one solid block that'll go up in there with probably like a two inch tube coming out on the side, welded on for a bump stop. It'd probably look a lot cleaner, just until I can get some leaf springs for this bad boy. I'm actually going to build some ladder bars for it, keep the rear end in place. Because, yeah, um, that 460 is going to be putting out some shit. Uh, and with the transmission, like I said in another video, it's got a shift kit. But, got it all up in here. Nice clean motor that I redone. Transmission doesn't look like nothing. <laughs> but not clean up the motor, got it painted and whatnot. Black, red valve covers. Nice brand new blasted um, intake up on it. But yeah, the last, um, I want to say two weeks, I've just been going around trying to figure out what I'm going to do to the truck. Filling in all the holes on the side, the tie down holes, welding those up. Be nice and smooth. Getting rid of all the holes that people drilled in the side back here over the years for shit. It's freaking ridiculous. I don't know why they needed those holes there. But, whatever. It's gonna be a pretty nice truck once I get done with it. Hopefully. It'll be my first time painting a truck. See so over here we got the tailgate that's been blasted, grinded down, flapped, or I uh, used the flapper wheel on it and got a lot of the rust out. Just got to get in here, clean it up some. Can't see right now in the video, but there's actually a dent here in the tailgate. <sighs> Not too bad. Something real easy to fill in, get fixed up. Actually got the hood up in here, which is actually in great shape. I've had this here for, I don't know, eight or more years, 
Probably even more than eight years. Probably had it ten plus years. Chuck's always ran and whatnot with a 390, I believe. But those motors are gutless. They ain't got no power to them, really. Fun to mess around with, though. But, yeah. I'm going to try to get up videos. Not really into the YouTube deal yet. But yeah. Love trucks. Yep. See you guys later.